After finishing the six factures, Sherlock's first episode of the new series, I was practically rubbing my hands together in some sort of maniacal glee. I didn't enjoy it. It was a highly flawed episode. It wasn't the worst. At the very least, it should get a mediocre rating, but in my eyes, I was ready to rain bloody hellfire on the most talked about shows going. What happened to Sherlock? No, no. We can do better than that. Sherlock is the worst and you're in denial. No, no, that's way too much, probably. Is this the end of Sherlock? We all know hyperbole sells on the internet and this first episode not living up to expectations felt like the kind of contrarian talking point worth investing in. I mean, I didn't want Sherlock to be bad at all. I've mentioned in the past that we moan about and criticize our favorite shows because we care, because we want it to be as good as we know it can be and are disappointed when it isn't. The six factions disappointed. It encapsulated everything the fans felt had gone wrong with the series. And so now, we were left wondering, is this what Sherlock is now? And then, the line detective aired, and as soon as I finished the episode, I tweeted, I don't know if I enjoyed Sherlock or not, Toby Jones was good though. And then straight after, Okay, that's bollocks, I did, much better than last week's, I think I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. Asshole. How do you not know if you enjoyed something or not? It was a really great episode and a return to form that addresses a lot of the issues I had with previous episodes. Wake up! The writing, the editing, pacing, great villain, Bobbin's interpersonal drama was kept to a minimum, actual tension and suspense was had rather than Sherlock practically being a superhero while everyone else had a moan and is also an international spy? Probably? But unfortunately I could no longer take that spiteful dump on a critically acclaimed and beloved show anymore. Just like that. Turned to shit in my hands. Who just got dumped on now? It made me reflect on being subjective as a critic and how that can so easily be clouded due to emotion. Maybe I did want Sherlock to suck. Maybe I wanted to give Sherlock the cathartic roasting of a lifetime. I don't get to review and blast TV shows often at all since there's so many and there's only time to watch the good and the popular. I look back and realise I went to that episode ready to hate it and was more disappointed in the facts that I didn't have any reason to. It hampered my enjoyment and compromised my ability to review. I personally will be going into episode 3 with an open mind as I hope to give it the chance it deserves. Okay, right. So, uh, how do I review this spoiler free? Okay, I enjoyed most of it, but with all the build-up it got, it fell flat at the end, like an Olympic gymnast nailing every flip, spin and jump except for the final landing. It's hard for me to accept an emotional resolution when the atrocities and the extremely dark outcomes of the antagonist's actions are so unforgivable. It rushes its ending so badly, but I did enjoy the middle portion where it had Mycroft, Watson and Sherlock problem solving and being emotionally tortured. Overall though, Series 4 is an attempt at giving the show some grit that it doesn't really need. If your idea of upping the stakes is to darken the tone, then all you're doing is alienate people who don't have a preference for that. I don't mind a dark tone myself, but for these purposes, it's shallow. Also, they need to calm it on the dream sequency psychosis bait and switches. Not that there's loads, but like the Christmas special, it just pisses everyone off. Just make them solve normal cases again where none of the characters are personally linked to the cases themselves. I mean, is that too much to ask? Episode 2 was the best episode of the series because of this. I totally acknowledge that the show desperately wants to explore its own characters a bit further and I truly believe that this final episode did that the best. But when it lacks any of the subtlety and tax for it to be endearing and truly emotional, it loses us. Especially when these attempts at character exploration neuter what drew us into the show in the first place. You know, the cases. I really didn't hate Sherlock, but it's not as good as it used to be. And that is it, thanks for watching. If you've been enjoying this channel, then do consider donating to my Patreon. I'm going to be uploading a bunch of stuff to there very, very soon. It's going to be lively. I'll probably make a video about it on this channel just to let you know what's coming up. Also, if you just come across this channel now, consider subscribing. Why not? But for now, I will see you later.